Here in this code sample, we have the definition for the function do something, and do something has one parameter. So when you invoke do something, you should pass over an argument into this uh, specific parameter. And the only thing do something does is just print something to the screen. Now we also have the start program function, and here is the definition for start program and here is the invocation of start program so when start program is invoked we have an infinite loop in which there is again and again an invocation for start new thread to start a new thread and the function we pass over is the function that will be the main function of the new thread we started here are the values we want uh, start new thread to pass over to do something when uh, do something is indirectly invoked as the main function of uh, a new thread. Now over here calling the function input means that uh, the computer now waits for uh, some input from the user and if I enter a queue then this uh, infinite loop will stop. Let's execute this uh, code sample. Now, as you can see, uh, the execution of this infinite loop is stopped because of the invocation for the input function. Uh, input function actually waits for us to enter something. We can just uh, come over here and uh, don't enter anything or enter something that is not Q and then that infinite loop will iterate one more time so each iteration we can see according to the output a new thread is started now if I enter um, Q the letter Q and press enter then this infinite loop will be stopped now in order to get a better feeling of the uh, many threads we, r we we got here, many threads that uh, are executed concurrently with each other. Let's change a bit the code over here. Let's say uh, create a simple uh, loop uh, for, or you know what? Let's make it uh, while uh, true, and it will be an infinite loop that prints doing something thread ID is and the value that was passed over so let's execute it one more time and as you can see infinite loop that prints this simple text to the screen now there is also the other thread that is currently uh, alt on, on alt is it stop because it waits for some input now if I just enter something or just press enter then as you can see ah, okay we must be here of course now as you can see we have uh, more uh, output from the many new threads that were created due to pressing just enter